Good evening, dear students. Today I am here with uh, one more new chapter, hydrogen. Important questions with answers. As you know, already have made a video on how to get out of out in mathematics, chemistry, and physics, and also biology by studying six to eight chapters. Everything is given to you. So if you have not seen that, the link is given in the description. Please go through that and then come to this one. And one more very important points. The so many students are asking that, sir, if you do only these six chapters, which can we get out of out? Hundred percent, you will get out of out. But meaning is. You have to study all the six chapters or whatever the eight chapters given in the video with detailed NCERT concept. Not only these important questions. If you are doing important question means you have to do all the chapters. If you are doing only six chapter means all the NCERT concept you are going to study from all the six chapters. Following my point. So if you are wanted to do uh, wanted to do only six chapter means all the NCERT concepts you have to study. If you want to do important question, means you have to study all the chapters important questions. See this point very important. Yes, let us start with a uh, hydrogen. See first, I will talk about one more questions. Write the names of isotopes of hydrogen. You know how many isotopes are there for hydrogen? Three isotopes. Isotopes: protium, deuterium, and tritium. Protium, you know, H11 indicates uh, it is atomic weight is one, atomic number is also one. Meaning is one proton, one neutron. Uh, sorry, zero neutron. Deuterium, one proton, one neutron. So proton plus neutron, you will get atomic mass. So therefore, you are getting there two. Where two? One proton, one neutron. Tritium, one proton, two neutrons. Therefore, one plus two, three. You are getting atomic mass. Following my point. So what are isotopes? The compounds or the elements of compounds of the same element having same atomic number but different mass number, or having same proton number but different neutron number. Those are called as isotopes. Already you studied. Second one, you see which isotope of hydrogen is radioactive? You know, tritium is the radioactive isotope of hydrogen. Name the isotope of hydrogen which has atomic number. One and mass number two. See the question number one. Atomic number one, mass number two means it is deuterium. Correct or not? Yes, it is deuterium. How many neutrons are present in atom of hydrogen, deuterium, tritium? They are asking for neutron. As we already studied in the first question, protium contains zero neutron. Only one proton is there. Deuterium contains one neutron, one proton. So they are asking neutron. So Tritium contains two neutron. Following my point, so if you want to calculate the neutron number, uh, atomic weight minus atomic number, one minus one zero, two minus one one, three minus one two, you will get like this. How to get neutron number? Atomic weight minus atomic number. Name the isotope of hydrogen containing one neutron, two neutrons. Just now we studied deuterium and tritium. Which isotope of hydrogen does not have neutron? Protium. Write the structure of H2O and H2O. This is a very important question, guys. So many times they have asked in annual examination. Write the structure of H2O and H2O2. See, this is a structure. Okay. H2O is a planar, but H2O2 is non-planar. It is having open book structure, right? What is the water gas or syn gas? Or write the composition of water gas. So many times they have asked this question, guys. Very important question. They are asking water gas, syn gas, synthetic gas, composition gas. All are same only. So mixture of CO and H2. Water gas is the mixture of carbon monoxide. CO and H2 is known as water gas. Give an example for electron deficient, electron precise, electron rich hydrides. Remember, guys, the electron deficient means uh, the hydrides which have less number of electron to write the octet uh, uh, Lewis structure. Electron precise means uh, the uh, hydrides which have a sufficient number of electrons to write the Lewis structure. Electron rich means the hydrides which have more number of electrons in the form of lone pair. So electron deficient means less number of electron to write the Lewis structure. All group 13 boron family comes under electron deficient. Okay. All group 14 comes under electron precise. And all group 15 to 
17 15 16 17 these comes under electron rich so group 13 boron family diborane you can take an example for electron deficient electron precise uh, carbon family methane i will take and electron rich nitrogen family oxygen family and fluorine family will come nh3 or h2o or hf any example you can take for electron rich i hope you understood Name the salt which causes temporary hardness and permanent hardness of water. You know, temporary hardness is due to calcium hydrogen carbonate and magnesium hydrogen carbonate. And permanent hardness is due to calcium chloride and magnesium chloride, calcium sulfate and magnesium sulfate. Remember this very important question again. What is the chemical used in Clark's process to remove temporary hardness? So it is lime guys. Lime means calcium hydroxide. Lime or calcium hydroxide, CaOH twice. Complete the following reaction. What is zeolite? They are asking. What is zeolite means? You know, hydrated sodium aluminium silicate. Hydrated sodium aluminium silicate is called as zeolite. It is safe selective catalyst, guys. Complete the following reaction. See the questions first. Zinc and NaOH. So when zinc treated with NaOH, sodium zincate, Na2. It is not Na guys, just make it correction. Na2, ZnO2 plus H2 is eliminated. Lead sulfide and H2O2. So here in this reaction, H2O2 act as an oxidizing agent. Lead sulfide is converted into lead sulfate. PBS is converted into PBSO4 plus 4H2O. Zinc sulfuric acid. So when zinc reacts with sulfuric acid, zinc sulfate and H2 is eliminated. N2H2. This is Haber's process, guys. Uh, when N2 and H2 in the ratio of 1 is to 3, they are combined in the presence of iron oxide as a catalyst, molybdenum promoter, it will give ammonia. This process is known as Haber's process. NH3. What you are getting? Ammonia to NH3. Next reactions, you know, these are the reactions given to you. And all of you know that, so these all reactions are taken from the NCRT only. And from any one of these, out of 11 reactions, any one or two reactions, they will ask an annual examination. Guaranteed question, guys. What is the role of heavy water in nuclear reactor? See, role of heavy water in nuclear reactor, they are asking. As a moderator, neutrons or slow down fast moving. So to slow down the reaction, so we are using their heavy water. Name the isotope of hydrogen used in nuclear reactor. So nuclear reactor, which isotope is used? Deuterium. Remember, radioactive isotope is pro uh, sorry tritium. And nuclear reactor, the isotope which is used in the nuclear reactor is deuterium. What is meant by 10 volume H2O2, 100 volume H2O2, 40 volume H2O2? You know what they are asking. This is nothing but strength, guys. 10 volume H2O2 means 1 liter of H2O2 can produce 10 liter of oxygen. That is the meaning. See here. 10 volume H2O2 means 1 liter of H2O2 solution will give 10 liter of oxygen at STP. STP means standard temperature and pressure. 100 volume H2O2 means what? 1 liter of H2O2 solution will give 100 liter of oxygen at STP. And similarly, 40 means 40 liter of, uh, sorry, 1 liter of H2O2 will produce 40 liter of oxygen at STP. This is the meaning. I hope you understood. Give uses of heavy water, D2O, hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. You know, as a moderator in nuclear reactors, as we just now studied, heavy water acts as a moderator to slow down the reaction. This heavy water is used in the nuclear reactors. Hydrogen peroxide, so many applications are there. Act as an antiseptic in the name of perhydrol. And also, you know, H2O2 is nowadays are there using in the rocket fuels also. Okay, this is very important. Hydrogen peroxide. What type of hydrides are formed by alkali metals? You know, alkali metals will usually form ionic hydrides. P block elements will form covalent hydrides. D and F block elements will form metallic hydrides. Ionic hydrides are given by alkali. P block elements are give, uh, going to give covalent hydrides. And D and F block elements will give metallic hydrides. So many important points guys again. Write the composition of producer gas. So just now we studied the composition of water gas is CO plus H2. Composition of producer gas is CO plus N2. Remember, very important. CO plus H2, water gas. CO plus N2, producer gas. Following my point, yes. 
three mark questions guys now very important again what are hydrides give their classification you know binary mixtures of hydrogen with other element are known as hydrides binary compounds of hydrogen with other elements except noble gas are called as hydrides the hydrides are classified into three types what are those ionic hydrides covalent hydrides and metallic hydrides ionic hydrides are given by s block elements covalent hydrides are given by p block elements metallic hydrides are given by d and f block elements what are ionic hydrides given example see they are binary compounds of hydrogen with group 1 and group 2 elements group 1 and group 2 means alkali metals and alkaline earth metals s block elements examples are sodium hydride calcium hydride any example you can give what are covalent hydrides again same they are binary compounds of hydrogen with group 13 to group 17 13 to 17 means all p block almost elements so 13 group means boron family bh3 is an example 14 means carbon family ch for an example 15 means nh3 nitrogen family 17 means oxygen h2 is an example these are the example for covalent hydrides what causes temporary and permanent hardness of water you know Temporary hardness is due to the presence of magnesium and calcium salts of hydrogen carbonate. Permanent hardness is due to presence of soluble salts of magnesium and calcium salts of chloride sulfates in the water. How temporary hardness of water is removed? Two methods are there either by boiling or by Clark's method. You see boiling also we can remove and by adding calcium hydroxide Clark's method also we can remove. On boiling, the bicarbonate of calcium and magnesium decompose into insoluble carbonates, which is removed by filtration. See here, calcium hydrogen carbonate is present in our water, then that is called temporary hardness. Or uh, magnesium hydrogen carbonate is present in our water, then that is called uh, hard water, temporary hard water. So, what you do when you heat it, calcium carbonate, magnesium carbonates are P PPT is formed. Sorry guys, uh, magnesium carbonate is not formed. Magnesium hydroxide PPT is formed. MgOH twice. This is because just make a correction here. Mag calcium carbonate is correct. But magnesium hydroxide PPT is formed. This is because magnesium hydroxide solubility product is more compared to magnesium carbonate. Therefore, magnesium hydroxide is formed. Calcium carbonate is formed. co 2 h 2 These are PPT. You can filter off and you can remove them. So, you, our water becomes soft. How temporary hardness is removed by Clark's process, you know, heating with calcium hydrogen carbonate or magnesium hydrogen carbonate containing water is heated with calcium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide only, calcium hydroxide means lime. Now again same, calcium carbonate, magnesium hydroxide, calcium carbonate, PPDs are formed, PPDs are filtered off and removed now we are water uh, our water left with so that water becomes soft water because carbonate and magnesium salts are removed how is permanent hardness of water removed four methods are there by treating with washing soda synthetic resin method zeolite method right uh, synthetic ion exchange method and Calgon's method these are the four methods given to you so anyone you can explain so here I explained with treating with washing soda. I see here sodium carbonate is commonly known as washing soda. Calcium sulfate or calcium chloride or magnesium sulfate or magnesium chloride containing water are called as hard water. And such a salt uh, containing water is treated with washing soda Na to CO3. If calcium sulfate is there, calcium carbonate PPT is formed. Magnesium chloride is there, magnesium carbonate PPT is formed. So which is removed, our water becomes soft simple technique explain oxidizing property of hydrogen peroxide with an example hydrogen peroxide act as a oxidizing agent both in acid as well as basic medium see the ncrt guys so here i have taken ap2 plus example see here ap2 plus is converted into ap3 plus by removing electron so removal of electron is called oxidation right so h2o2 act as a oxidizing agent in acid medium also in base medium also what is the composition of zeolite how does it works in softening of hard water zeolite you know sodium aluminium silicate hydrated sodium aluminium silicate is known as zeolite it exchanges magnesium 2 plus and calcium 2 plus ions for its sodium ions hence soften the hard water so what zeolite will do it will replace the magnesium and calcium salts which are present in the water by sodium ion so water becomes soft Due to difference between hard water and soft water, very important. You know, 
Hard water contains dissolved salts of calcium and magnesium. Soft water does not contain such a dissolved salt. Does not form lather with soap. Hard water does not form lather with soap. But soft water can form lather with soap. Due to difference between temporary and permanent hardness. Again, temporary hardness is due to presence of bicarbonate salts of calcium and magnesium. But permanent hardness is due to presence of chlorides and sulphates of calcium and magnesium. Here bicarbonates, here chlorides and sulphates. Can be removed by boiling, temporary hardness. But permanent hardness can't be removed by boiling. It requires specific processes. Already we studied in previous questions. Explain reducing property of hydrogen peroxide with iodine. So reducing property means again uh, I told you H2O2 can act as an oxidizing agent also. Reducing agent also. With iodine they are asking you have to take I H2O2 when treated with I2 and OH- minus. in basic medium I have taken. I2 is converted into I- minus. Carefully observe the point. I2 is converted into I- minus means I2 to I minus. I2 is having 0 oxidation state. I minus having minus 1 oxidation state. So decrease in oxidation number is called a reduction. So I2 is reduced to I minus. Electrons are added to I. That only called addition of electron is called a reduction. Correct or not? So H2O to act as a reducing agent. Explain reducing property of hydrogen peroxide with one example. Same example also you can take. Otherwise I have taken here MnO4. See there MnO4 is converted into Mn2 plus. In MnO4 minus, the oxidation state of Mn is, see how much oxidation state of Mn is plus, so if suppose minus 8 is there, when plus 7, so here plus 2, means oxidation, MnO4 minus the oxidation state of Mn is plus 7, Mn2 plus 2 plus, so plus 7 to 2 plus means 5 electrons are added there so therefore plus 7 to plus 2 oxidation state is decreased it is called a reduction so h2o2 act as a reducing agent explain the preparation of hydrogen from methane so see methane steam is passed through a uh, methane at 1270 kelvin temperature in presence of nickel as a catalyst hydrogen is liberated with co and mixture of co and h2 is known as Syn gas, synthetic gas or water gas. Already we studied. What is coal gasification reaction? This is also very important reaction guys. The process of producing water gas from coal is called coal gasification. That means process of producing water gas from the coal. You take coal and heat with a water, steam. So coal can be converted into CO and H2. Mixture of CO and H2 is called water gas. So coal is converted into water gas. Therefore the name coal gasification. Water gas shift reaction. This is very very important guys. See production of hydrogen is increased by reacting carbon monoxide of syngas with steam in presence of iron chromate as a catalyst. 673 Kelvin temperature means whatever the CO and H2 produced in the above step. Same CO is taken here and again passed through a steam. CO is converted into CO2 because you know CO is harmful to environment compared to CO2. So therefore CO is not given to the environment. First you have to convert CO into CO2. See CO2, CO2, CO2 we have converted. CO into CO2. Therefore water gas shift reaction. Justify position of hydrogen in the periodic table. You know hydrogen has been placed at the top of the alkali metals because its electronic configuration and its ability to lose an electron to form hydrogen ion resembles alkali metals usually it will uh, five properties resembles with alkali metals therefore hydrogen is kept in the left side of the periodic table top of the alkali metals why is position of hydrogen in periodic table is not justified because it can act as alkali metals also it can act as a halogens also act the same as a halogens also it can act same as alkali metals also so therefore it can kept see properties of hydrogen do not completely match with alkali metals and halogens its electronic configuration its ability to lose electron for form h plus ion resembles alkali metals its non metallic property and high ionization enthalpy resembles halogen therefore it is not matching with halogen not matching with alkali metal therefore it is kept separately in the periodic table give the laboratory method of preparation of dihydrogen so you know laboratory method dihydrogen can be prepared by passing uh, any acid through zinc See, any acid H2SO4 or HCl, dilute acid is uh, passed through the zinc metal. So you will get H2 gas. So this is regarding this class guys. Uh, if you got any doubts, 
you can comment below and next chapter which chapter you want that also you can comment below guys so if this video is helpful to you guys so please like the channel like the video subscribe the channel and if it's very helpful to you please share among your friends so that everybody can get a benefit of it so if you want to uh, previous videos the link is given in the description all seven chapters important questions have made so if you want you can see it which chapter you want just comment below guys thanks for watching thank you